Protecting the Indian budget is the first step, but long-term success depends on tribal nations having the same opportunities to protect and preserve our communities that are available to state and local governments. We exercise jurisdiction over lands that would make us the fourth largest state in this country. We run dozens of programs previously administered by the federal agencies or states, and we protect reservation environments in the manner that states regulate off-reservation lands. Tribal governments have proven their capacity to grow our economies, educate our people, and manage our resources. We need the federal government to put decision-making power back in the hands of the people who live in Indian country, the people who know best, <laughs> the people who know best because these are our homelands, these are our people. The old way of doing business causes missed opportunities every day. The Swinomish Nation in Washington State saw this firsthand. The tribe had worked out a deal with Walmart for a big new store on the reservation. It was a great opportunity, a great deal. A million dollars a year in lease revenue for the tribe and new jobs for tribal members and people throughout the community. As with every lease on Indian lands, the federal government needed to approve it. The process took more than a year, and by the time it was approved, economic conditions had changed, Walmart, Walmart had made other plans, a million dollars for Swinomish people, gone. All those jobs, gone. And this is not an isolated story. Many tribal leaders can tell you stories today about business opportunities lost because of red tape. This is why our federal partners have already proposed crucial lease reforms to free our economies. Tribal nations, again, have proven our capacity. We don't need government involved in all our business decisions. We need flexibility. And by creating it, we will remove barriers that cost us jobs and opportunities. This is a goal I think we can all agree on across the political spectrum. And it's something we can achieve with a change in policy, not an increase in spending. This is the kind of solution that Washington is crying out for, and we in Indian country are eager to answer the call.